Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Tenderfoot Tactics, uh, where we have a lot of sailing to do today. But before we get to anything uh, class related, I kind of want to just track that down. It might just be the plume of smoke as represented from very, very far away, but it's definitely weird, right? So, okay, what's the fastest way to the coast? I guess it's this way toward that plant. Look at, <laughs> look at how adorable Nyx is now. Yeah, I'm sad we didn't pick up Elementalist earlier. It seems like there's a lot of really cool, uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff in this class. Alright, into the ocean, and away! Wow, it's dark out here. Okay. Yeah, let's go track this down real quick, shall we? Fortunately, uh, we're gonna be covering a lot of ground really, really quickly today, because there's not a lot of reason for us to be on land. I mean, like, this is on the shoreline. That's on a tiny little island. That's on a tiny little island. Uh, now, I will say, the downside here is that I do not know exactly where we're going. Oh, it's a town. It's a very weird... It's a big... Does anybody else see a big statue of a guy riding a horse? Like, this is the head of the horse. And this is the man, and he's got, like, a drum major hat on with one of those feathers. Nope, it's a town. Obviously, it's a town. What else would it be? Certainly certainly not a huge man riding a horse. Well, is this one we've been to before? We should definitely check the place out, at least see if there is a uh, an interesting local map around. Okay, hostiles right up to the edges of it, though. Suggest that perhaps we have, uh, we have not done a good job of safeguarding the population here. It's all right. You know, when the when the plot comes to an end, the, the fog pushes back and everybody's fine. It's... And there's no penalty for our slowness or lack of care at all. We hope. No penalty to us, anyway. To be perfectly honest with you, it's probably worse to, um... To actually fight all the dudes, because we definitely kill goblins in combat. That is a thing that happens. We see them turn into skeletons. Is this the town we were in before? We definitely came to a town at some point. This might be... Uh, it's so hard to tell. Let me let me look at the map. Well, wow, seems like pretty healthy though. Yes, this is the town we've been to before. We have we have this map already. Okay, so we're assuming that this is. Hey, what do you reckon that is? Because this is probably this town, right? Um, if we hop all the way up here. Why is my memory slot visible again? I don't know what's going on with this thing. Okay, um... Is this roughly the shape of this island? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This... This weird little coastline that kind of looks like... Kind of looks like a dude shouting. Is right here. This is the mouthy bit, and here's, here you have a weird nose. So... Right over there... Through between these two islands... That little peninsula, here is where X is marked. Let's go see. Let's go see if it is something real cool. It might be nothing at all, I suppose. It might just be where they usually land when they go to the mainland. But I won't be able to rest until I know. And then, again, like I keep saying, I don't remember what the big weird towers are for, and we should probably visit one. So lots of little smoke plumes, which roughly correspond with resting places on this map. That tower's not too far inland. That would be a pretty easy one to run to. Yeah, it's probably worth it. So whatever this X is, it is really just on the shore. Shouldn't take more than a minute here. So let's see, at the furthest in point, like right here. Well, that's something. What is that? It's bacon. It's a pictogram of bacon. I don't know what this is. I mean, I think this is the mark. 
Right? Like, this is, yeah. This is approximately the right spot, but it doesn't... Um, I mean, it, or it looks like a single field that has been plowed, but nothing has been grown out of it yet. I do not know what to make of this. I do believe it is the only thing over here. And it's the only thing that's noteworthy. Maybe if I push the fog back off of it... Is there an enemy that's, like, really close to it that we can fight, maybe? That bog troll over there might do it. I'm a little worried that it's it's kind of far away, though. Yeah, maybe crops would grow here if there wasn't so much damn fog. I guess let's, let's do this fight and see if it pushes stuff back enough. Because I am really curious. Uh, okay, so... Right now, Nyx doesn't really have great spells. We're actually much shorter on good stuff than we used to be while we let people level up. Oh, right. I gotta, gotta get this over top of the terrain. So let's have... I mean, Quinn's still, Quinn's still powerful. Quinn still has poison. Yeah, like, stand here and retch... And then Quinn comes in with... It's fine, I guess. Alright, so Quinn's positioning has to be fixed a little bit, though. In fact, Quinn probably needs to be there. Because Pascal has all that extra movement. He'll make it where he's going. Okay, like this. And I'm pretty sure this is how I want to do it. So this is going to get this one devoted to healing. Basically just like controlling them. It's action denial through um, through motivation. Okay, not exactly the way I would have liked for that move to take place. And we got to remember to face away from the scary shadow man. That's a bummer. Boy, and their attacks unnerve too. That's that's very rough. That several of them can spawn at the top of the initiative order, and then just multi unnerve multiple people in your party. Uh. Okay, so hits all units facing the target. We pick a tile, and we deal damage to all units facing the target. Plus damage for each tile that I moved? Yeah. So this guy's facing that way. This guy's looking to the corner. That's very awkward. I mean, this is pretty good. Oh, right. And we have, um, we have Nyx equipped with that flame thing. So also it starts fires in every tile that it does damage to. That's a really weird ability. I I think it's very cool. Uh, let's let's go frost some dudes. Let's move over here and drop a pretty decent frost. It's gonna put out some of this fire. Actually, the fire went out naturally due to lack of fuel before the water even landed. Sadly, I do not get to heal. Pascal. Pascal's just gonna die. Oh, no, never mind. I think we... we should, yeah. We should have no problem with grenading here. And I don't even know if the taunt... Yeah, the taunt's not gonna be necessary. Because the grenade's actually gonna kill. Remember when Spot, doing approximately the damage that he does now, was like a critical part of our damage output? It's like, that grenade can hit more than one target. That makes him amazing. Oh, hey, little Shadow Man's still alive. Let's, let's solve that. I totally forgot about him until I looked over at the turn order chart. 
So to take optimal advantage of Flash, we're gonna really wanna change the way we have our people face. That is so cool though, that's such a neat ability. Yeah, I'm really bummed out that we didn't pick up Elementalist earlier. This would have been a fun one to have uh, to have played with the whole time. Were I going to do a new game, um, and I might, <laughs> to be clear, we're not going to do one on camera, but I totally might might play this again. Um, I probably would angle for Elementalist really early. I wonder if they're randomized. Like, the locations probably aren't, but I wonder if which class is at which spot is randomized. Well, that does not seem to have pushed the fog back at all. In fact, you can see the areas around us look like they're unfogged by it, but not this spot in particular. That's very strange. I have no idea what to make of that. All right, let's um, let's get back on our class hunting journey. So we need to make it all the way down to this island, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the island we started. I think that's the island we started on. So it's it's a little surprising to me. I guess you have to be pretty close before the dreadful power notification occurs. Oh, I was going to go to the t well, whatever. Too late now. We'll go to a different tower. Later. What is that? What is that that I can see through the uh There's definitely a structure of some kind on that landmass. I guess let's go find out. I wonder how many of these little islands have interesting stuff on them. Hey, that's weird. Is that a town that's shooting up spotlights? Or okay, we'll we'll check that out too. Ah, didn't mean to do this. I mean, while we're here, we can just take a quick look. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything significant happening here. Huh. I guess I wasn't really seeing anything. Okay, let's take a moment and sort of reassess. Where am I? Oh, this is this is totally the island. Well, good job, me. me? Way to accidentally do a thing. Let's just get over closer to this. Uh, this is the same... Same class map as always? Sure is. Alright, what manner of class are you? Gorgons. Until no Gorgon remains. So, of course, call unit a Gorgon, it has to have scary stone glare. All units in the caster's field of view, which are also facing the caster, unnerve one in a small amount of damage. This creates ice. And free movement across ice. Oh, that's cool. So, we have no idea. Yeah, absolutely no idea what we're actually looking at here. Um, let's plan to do a big scary jump. Because I just, I just want to see if we can get enough damage out of one. Uh, we'll have Pascal go right there. And then I kind of want to put everybody else in the corner. Yeah, um, I kind of want to put everybody else in the corner so that hopefully they're not affected by the flash. So we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit Pascal no matter how we do this. If I jump to here, I kill three of them, and I do a fair amount of damage to my team's damage dealers. But I think this is worth it. It's unfortunate that we can't have people start the mission with different facing. Uh, and that wasn't my move. I, I could still move. I'm gonna... Move down to here, I guess. Give myself a little cover, and then with the intention of flashing again later. So I did screw up my turn order by unnerving everybody. Uh, I'm gonna imb imbue Vigor on... No, I'm not. This... This doesn't do anything. I'm just going to move up here and face the wall. I mean, sure. Imbue, imbue vigor. Maybe it'll... Maybe somebody will end up standing in that bush. It has the stink of power upon it. All 
Okay, uh, you have only 55 health. Oh, well, this is going to be really easy, actually. And then we're going to get spawned on, and who knows what's going to happen from there. Well, I do love that a lot of these guys are facing the same direction. I do not love this. And the thing is, it's such a large number of enemies that you're almost guaranteed to have a bunch of them get to go in a row, right? Like, there's almost no way that it wouldn't happen just due to the extremely large number of them. Oops, I should have turned him away. Well, whatever. Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about the turning. I mean, this is pretty good. I don't think the damage is going to be quite what I want. Or the, the burning damage. Like, I don't, I don't think either of them is going to die from it. But it's a good start. Oh no, he's standing in the imbued brush. Um, we probably kill these two. Right? If we can. Yeah, this will this will work. Well, if we had a class where their whole thing was ice and water, such as a Gorgon at this moment. Uh, we could certainly make some stuff happen. <laughs> we definitely have some water. Which is good, because everybody knows if you want to be the champ, you gotta have some water. Uh, it is unnecessary to do this, but Nyx has gone mad with power. And Nyx will kill Pascal no fewer than ten more times. Ah, uh, sure, make camp, why not? So, you... Boy, what do I want to grab on you? I kind of love Nostrum. Sleet hits the entire battlefield. It's weird that it's called Sleet, but it... I would expect a thing called Sleet to do damage, you know? But it's... It, the heals for 38 the entire battlefield. Very strange. Uh, I mean, Sicken does seem very good. Birth's Bog Body on death. Yo, we're gonna level this up just because I need to know what it does. For 200 ticks, Birth's Bog Body on death. And then you now have your fun bolt thing. Um,. Affinity for fire and water is not going to give you access to anything great. I think I'm going to grab... I mean, right now we just have, like, jump. We have jump and a vol and a salvo. So extra movement doesn't actually seem all that relevant. Let's pick up some fire stuff, because we sure do start a lot of fires. You, I think we just want you to have extra skill points. Same deal. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, new new body. We picked up a new body type. Uh, where is it? The Gorgon. Woods Witch 6, Wizard 4. Huh. We may not have anybody except for, like, maybe Nyx, who fits that. And I don't really want to turn Nyx into a new thing. So we might just... Uh, Gorgon seems fine, but certainly not necessary. We're, we're... I do want to see, like, a lot of the stuff that we have yet to see, but we don't have enough goblins for everybody to... We don't have enough goblins to be everything. I think we're going to keep the lineup like this for a minute until we level some people up. Definitely having some weird issues with people being very low level. With everybody being very low level. Alright. What is going on over here? Also, sorry, what direction are we going in for the next class to? Down this way. Well, there's one of those towers. You know what? We're not going to lose... It's probably... That's Hoggle's Dairy. We're not going to lose Vision of Hoggle's Dairy. Let's go this way. Go visit the Weird Tower. And then from there, we can figure out where this is. Right along the coast. We can hit Hoggle's Dairy and then swing through to this. Mm. 
We definitely did visit one of these. I wonder what it's like to have a memory that actually allows you to, like, know a thing and then still know that thing the next day. It must be wild. Sounds like a superpower. Boy, this is densely populated. Well, there is a dreadful power at this tower. This dreadful tower of power. So that, that looks like Feyweed. Yeah, let's grab that Feyweed. Give ourselves a little bit of breathing room here. Boy, it didn't push, push him back much, though, huh? How far away is this other Feyweed that was? Oh, it's, like, quite far away. These towers are very strange things. Where is the door? Yo! Look at the size of that! Are they always that big? They're not, right? Also, some of our people are outside of the world? Oh, we only get three tiles. Does that... Are these three not going to be able to participate at all? I guess. Yeah, we only have... Okay, that's... That's interesting. If we can only play three people, who do we play? Um, I think that... I think that Willow is going to be pretty important in such a situation. Willow's tough and has heal and has... Good frost, good powerful frost. You're hyper reactive. It's probably Pascal. Pascal probably stays in. And then, like, as fun as Nyx is. Oh, man. Wait, maybe we need Nyx, though. Because we might have a lot of enemies here, potentially. You know, with these, these bodies spawning more stuff. And if it wasn't going to be Nyx, it would probably be Spot just for the toughness. A spot's pretty valuable in low um, combat with low numbers of enemies because of the constant promotions. So maybe that is the right play. And the rest of my people are on the turn order chart. Maybe they'll get to enter eventually. I'm going to do this. We're going to have... Have Pascal lead, maybe? Yeah. Oh, wait. This is going to be a problem. The um, the battlefield being tiny, plus the UI elements only working when they're inside the battlefield is going to be an issue. All right. So 87 and 87. All right. So Pascal can go here and just retch. Or it's probably retch. It's probably some some version of that. And the question is just where. I think I'm going to retch at the Frost Giant. Do this one. His promote is actually an unnerve for the hyper reactive. Um, and then... It's probably like... Move forward to here and frost, damn it, frost these guys. Pop those two. come over here and be a threat to this guy. Unfortunately, now we're going to get walloped. Yeah, it's pretty scary. I think we made the right move picking the three people who have self-healing. Alright, let's, let's slam you. Give me a little bit of time to work here. And then we have a pretty decent frost. But unfortunately, um, I'm a little worried about Pascal getting killed. 60. 
So in theory, you don't have a kill. You don't have a straight up kill. Alright, I'm going to move to here. And I'm going to frost these two. Okay, interesting. I guess he... Right, I left him. I left him a way to get two kills, and he went for the two kills. Uh, that's pretty good for us, I think. So, it would be great if we could finish off the Frost Giant next. I'm gonna... Gloat here. Because I think Pascal's got him, probably. Right, Pascal's fast as hell and can definitely execute a Sting. Okay, now it's just a matter of surviving all of this noise. Which I'm not going to do. Actually. Actually a huge problem. Um, if we move to here and then slam this way, that gets me enough unnerved to have... to have Willow thrive... Gonna th I think I'm going to thrive you, rather than thriving self. Perhaps unwise. Let's we'll run over here and grab a tiny amount of HP. And then it's like, go to here and wretch. We gotta start bringing in the, the larger number of enemies. Oh, you know what actually I could do is um, thirst. Yeah, may as well go back to full. Do you have a ranged attack? You don't. Okay. So I'll face this way. Try not to give that guy an opportunity to, uh, to unnerve me. Alright, and now you, unfortunately, can't stop... Yeah, we, we need to hit both of these guys for unnerve damage, and we can't. I guess if I move to right here... If I move to right here and I throw a grenade... That does unnerve both of them. Yeah, okay, and then... I really, I really wish we could get Willow a turn. Um, but sadly, I don't think I can. What I can do, I suppose, is jump. Kill this guy. That guy's taunted and doesn't have a way to hit them both, I don't think. Oh, no, he does. He can stand right here, right? Yeah. If he stands here and casts Bedlam into that tile, it does hit. Yeah, so there's just no way to do this. Am I allowed to jump in the tile I'm in right now? No, but I could move and then do it. Because I'm actually in the perfect jump tile. <laughs> it's a shame that doesn't cause um, unnerve, despite being a thing that hits him in the side. Oh boy. That's not great. Okay, 63, 65, 81. Uh, I don't think that I can survive this by, um, by, by healing. I think I'm going to step back and... Oh! oh. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty big deal. I'm going to step back and do this. Just slam them all into each other and then... Fingers crossed that they promote me. Yeah, that him leveling up there is actually huge. Fortunately, the thorns damage uh, from the... So he's got thorns from his equipment, and then Pascal's got thorns from the Thrive, and that is totally doing the work. So maybe these towers are just, like, weird challenges? This one was definitely interesting. Uh, 
Let's jump. More jumping. Turns out terrain the terrain height doesn't matter. Always jumping. Stud earrings coated with metal burrs and given a hopeful name. The combination of poor execution and big eyes is typical of a young Hogglesdairy goblin. Well, I mean, we're going to Hogglesdairy soon. Do we get to use everybody this time, or nope? <laughs> hey, this is like a huge number of enemies for the number of guys we're allowed to bring to the fight. This is also a wild battlefield. Man. Okay, so we get one person, and then they get three people. And then we get two. So our one person needs to be able to blow up a huge number of enemies. Uh, maybe it is a good idea to bring Nyx in on this one. I'm pretty sure we want you. Like, I'm, I'm real sure we want you. I'm pretty sure we want Pascal. So the question is just, can Nyx create enough damage to be worthwhile? And I think the answer is yes. I think so. I think it's, I think it's actually pretty good. Uh, I do not know how this ability interacts with Lofty. If the height advantage is calculated... Well, it says height advantage over target. The target of this ability is... A ground tile? I'm not... I'm not at all sure how these abilities interact. How does... Okay. You can jump up to eight tiles. I'm going to put you down here. We're going to try this. We're going to try this and maybe it'll work and maybe it won't. Yep. So this will kill several of them. This kills almost everyone. Wow, this, this ability is bananas. I'm trying not to have the whole screen obscured by whatever the object is that's doing that. Yep, I think this is probably the right start. <laughs> that, that felt correct to me. And then I think you're good. You, you've done all you need to do. Why don't you just chill out for a second? These guys are getting mega unnerved. Now keep in mind, this elementalist is only as good as he is because, like in, in part, it's because of the equipment we've got and it would not have been the case that he would have been as mind-blowing like if we'd gotten him first right away. An elven flute. A modest flute that produces an enchanting sound. The flute is a theatrical prop that accompanies a blind old stra uh, stranger. A disgusting creature finds the stranger's music enchanting, and in turn the stranger is the only person to offer the creature any kindness. Huh. 1038's pretty good. Yeah, sure, make this, make this the new camp. So maybe it's just that each one of these has like a, a cool artifact? Uh, you are now picking up Affinity, and we're going to grab Combust on your Affinity. So now we have that ability again. And all of a sudden, Nyx is, like, as powerful as, as he's ever been. And then we probably want to put that Elven Flute on somebody, right? 1038. I think I'm fine with this. Nettle doesn't really need damage boosts. So, yeah, Willow makes a lot of sense as a target for this thing, I think. Or, like, Quinn. So, a pretty small upgrade from here, or a tiny damage downgrade, but a ton of extra health here. I think we'll do that. Okay. So, that's interesting. Uh, let's go to Hogglesdairy. And then from Hogglesdairy, we will plan our next class trip. I guess that's what we're on. We're on a class trip. So.
it's potentially worth it to visit each of the, um... Maybe. Maybe worth it to visit each of the towers, because who knows, some of these artifacts could be more significant than others, but it seems like mostly it's a thing that's about, like, gaining combat power, which I'm not that stressed about, honestly. I think we got it under control. So, I have no idea where we are. Let's see, there's a lot of tiny little islands. Okay, wait, this might be this? Yeah, actually, hold on, we can... We can turn around. I'm pretty sure that the dreadful power we're looking for is somewhere around there. And then we'll, we'll head to Hoggles Dairy afterward. Like I said, all the spotlights are going to make it pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to miss. I do not remember at all what our initial path around the world looked like. It was just like by the time I really understood where we were on the map, we had we had crossed the entirety of the world. All right, so hold on a second. This is definitely this. So the dreadful power will be right here. And that one looks like it's really right on the shore. Or maybe not. Oh yeah, there it is. Maybe I just need to not look perfectly away from it the moment that I uh, the moment that I start looking around. Alright, who doesn't love a little bit of the old Truthweed? Right, what, what manner of thing are we learning today? It's... Worm. The Mighty Worm. Sword and a shield. Breaks destructible objects, move caster to target, knock back one. That seems pretty cool. I bet this um, gained 10 bonus power until next action when hit. I bet this comes off of night. I bet we, we might be able to turn Spot into one of these, which I think would be fine, because Spot is not actually <laughs> using the skills of the night very much. Uh, so we get to go first twice, which seems pretty great. I mean, I'm gonna have Nyx start over here, and we're gonna just do a we're gonna do a crazy Nyx thing. And then after Nyx, it can be like Quinn. Yeah. Alright, Nyx, if you were to jump to here, almost kill everybody. It's definitely a good start. And, and a huge fire. And then I'm not inclined to make you move anywhere. Okay, it's just like letting things burn a little bit. Uh, so... Well. <laughs> Problem solved, I guess. What a weird... It's a weird game. In, in many ways, it's a, it's a strange game. Uh, you could at least put a buff up on somebody. Here, let's empower all of the bushes. And then you probably don't actually need to be standing in an empowered bush. You can, you can make room for everybody else. Oh, hey. Howdy, everyone. How's it going? So... I mean, it's pretty obvious that this is... Oh, actually, gather. I was gonna say it's pretty obvious this is a good frost opportunity, but maybe it's more of a gathering type opportunity. Unfortunately, this is gonna just barely not kill everyone. But I guess it at least makes it possible for um, a really powerful grenade to go off here in a second and kill everyone. And we do sl okay, we do slam them into each other. Yeah, that's a pretty good outcome. That's pretty okay. These uh, all these challenges, I'm sure, are much more <laughs> much more difficult and compelling. 
if you haven't completed the game, basically, before embarking on them. Take this, my own teammate. I mean, I really blew him the hell up. That was, that was his full health plus a whole bunch. Alright, we have learned Worm. Alright, Hoggle's Dairy now has three goblins. I've done a terrible job of keeping these towns full. Alright, uh, like I was saying, I bet... I bet that our new our new class has... Battle Mage 4 Spell Sword 4. Yo, not what I was expecting. Um, Spot's not qualified for anything. <laughs> Spot's gonna be a knight forever. Uh, I am curious about the worm, but I don't, who do we have that fits? This is a thing where I would have to actually train people up. And I don't think we have the time. I didn't even really look at their abilities during the battle because I was like, oh, this is murder stuff. Okay, I'm not going to stress about it too much. Let's, let's go continue collecting classes. What I might do is level people up a little bit off camera and then do a... Uh, do a little bit of a showcase of what is left. The, the classes that we didn't actually use in combat at all. Can I tell you? Pretty surprised that we did an aggro when we came up uh, came up on shore right inside of that guy's business. All right, so to Hoggle's Dairy, which I think is on this landmass, and then from there it should be easy enough to loop around and grab this other stuff. Did I really never stop at the place that has all of the... I mean, they're, they're probably supposed to be smoke plumes, but they, it looks like it has a bunch of spotlights. It looks like you, we're going to get here and it's going to have like a really kicking casino. Whoa, what is that? Is that another one of these? That is a spooky tree. Well, I mean, let's do what we must. The enemy comes in waves. Two waves remain. Don't let your dudes get murdered. Alright, I mean, you know what I'm gonna do here. So, somewhere around here is probably the optimal spot to drop. To catch the guys who are looking this way and the guys who are looking this way. So, I'm gonna put my people in this corner. With spot frontmost. Something like this, maybe? Yeah. And then... Alright. Let's see how much damage I can do. Well, I can kill all the woods witches, and I can light up all of the other dudes. And not hit any of my friends, and also start a bunch of fires over there and there. Seems like the right move. It's interesting that they all turn away, too. Like, it, it pushes them all into facing the wrong direction, which could then, in theory, be utilized. Why did I run to the bushes? I mean, I know why I ran away from everyone else, but why would I run to the bushes? That seems unwise. Because, you know, it would be nice if Nyx survived. I should... I, I should be careful about making sure Nyx survives. We're about to have a, a wave battle. Alright, I think I'm just gonna... Just gonna get you with the real hard single target. I'm not too worried about the promote. Alright, so... Do we want to just do some thriving? The two that are... The two enemies that are going next won't get to deal any damage. So maybe I just want to throw a thrive up on someone? I'll, yeah, I'll do it on you. Even more incentivizing our uh, our tank to take damage here. And then... 
you run up and you fire some poison arrows at somebody, or you could bolt jump, I suppose. Yeah, that seems okay. And in general, face away from the middle of the battlefield, because <laughs> things might transpire. Uh, if I move into the nook of this tree, I can throw a grenade across here that'll do something. It's not great. Okay, so I've tried to mostly face people away, but I didn't remember with Nettle. So this might be more of a combust kind of turn. Yeah, seems alright. Uh, and then I'm actually going to have you move back this way. Try to face the outsides of the arena. Unfortunately, we have no idea where the enemies are going to come in here, so this could get a little complicated. Oh no, you can't quite get to the Thrive target. Well, you can still run over here and Thrive this guy, I guess, which is fine. I could also just... Um... Oh no, I don't have any... I don't have any ranged healing at all. This may be a little not ideal. Okay, you sort of can't look... Yeah, this will have to do. Uh, you don't get to do anything. You also don't get to do anything. I can move you through some health at least. There we go, that's pretty good. Yeah, we don't have a lot of buffs to distribute. Yo, hey everyone, how's it going? Okay, uh, so we can't make the frost giants slow down. This is bad. All we could actually do here is deal, like, a small amount of damage. I can sicken one of them. You know, that's actually not bad. Right, because that drops his max HP by so much. Unfortunately, they're turning us around. God, yeah. Just so many enemies come in from the side of the battlefield. You have no no ability to react. and This is rough. These wave battles are rough. So Willow can't get into position to thrive anybody. Willow kind of can't get into position to do anything of value. We don't really want to um, to frost here. Yeah, right, it's just like a ton of promotion. I, I guess I just anesthetize... You? I suppose? Yep, we lost. We're, like, gonna lose people from full health in a way that we had no ability to do anything about. Um... This is okay. That one promote doesn't really do anything. Yeah. It gets everybody facing the same direction. Well, no, it does not. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Okay, so, now we have a variety of, of weird facings and stuff, but I'm fairly confident that we can... Uh, I can't I can't do this without hitting Pascal. Yep, 
Yeah. All right. Well, a combust is going to have to do it then. I mean, our combust is pretty strong. Oh, except that we can't move. Right. I'm completely. I'm completely surrounded by bushes, so I can't even get a combust into a place where it has any effect. So it does have to be a jump. I mean, it'll be this jump. That's fine. And then you need to move to a place where you have the ability to move later, but there is no such place. Yeah, wow, rough. Actually, the, <laughs> the overgrowth is is harsh. Uh, I guess just stay kind of central. And then you are in trouble. These guys have huge amounts of health that make them impossible to kill with your tiny little healer damage. I guess you can... You can cast a frost that, like, the promote's not gonna matter because these guys are already next. Just do a bunch of damage. Kill this dude. And then... Run away. Very reliant on... Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, very reliant on the taunt to uh, to keep us alive. So 72, 41. Does it do... Does my grenade do 40 damage? Yep. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, I can move to here and get a better result, though. Or actually, I need to move to... Ooh. If I move to here... Then I can do it like this and prevent this guy from getting a turn. Alright, and then, unfortunately, this does make things a little bit awkward... ...for you. But you, like, you run to here and you do thirst facing down. There we go, and that at least gets you all your health back. Alright, so, this is a very straightforward combust, and we end up taking five people into the next round. Uh, you are absolutely just going to self-thrive. I guess move over to here and we have no idea what to expect. Okay, uh, definitely a gloat. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray for all of the XP! And then I should jump to like here? I don't really, I don't want to be in the depression. And of course Nyx goes right before all the enemies come in. That's pretty rough. That that sucks a lot. Uh, oh, and then you can't quite get a... Yeah, shoot. I should have thought about that when positioning Nyx. Can't quite get Willow to a place where Willow can actually heal Nyx. Um, hmm. So we're not going to be able to frost anyone from here. We can anesthetize Pascal. Hope to... Hope to push him into getting a turn before he is killed. Okay, you can't do anything at all because they came in as far away as possible. Sucks. 
they come they come in immediately after Nyx's turn, and then there's no chance that Nyx could possibly get a turn. Alright, uh right here we thirst. Right? I need to, I need the HP very badly. And this will refill me, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Okay, so. Pretty sure we can't really do much here, but I can just clear as many bushes as possible off of the field. And then you actually have plays. Let's try to make sure Starfish Dude does not get a turn under any circumstances. Alright, we managed to managed to clear obstructions mostly out of a pretty pretty solid sized area over here. Which is going to be very helpful. It's a shame I didn't imbue this bush. Alright, we are eventually... Oh, I can't... I can't attack this way. As the elevation difference is too great. Well, I can certainly throw a grenade this way. Gonna submerge you even further. Yeah, this anesthetize. Uh, this was a champion anesthetize. It's one of the best ones on record. Apparently, Willow won't rest until this entire battlefield is underwater. There we go. Just never, <laughs> never stop throwing grenades into the hole. How deep is this? It is now negative eleven. He is he is ten elevation above this guy. Well, what if we just pitch some more water in there? You know, we're all, like, life and death struggle, existential attempt to survive, the the magical fog that is destroying our, our people. But when all that stuff's done and the world calms down a little bit, we've, we've created quite a swimming pool here. Think of how relaxing this place is going to be for, you know, the survivors. Ooh, wooden dice. A handmade set of pine wood dice. Every die is crooked in one way or another. Yeah, I mean wood. Most goblins test till they know the slant of their dice. Cocky goblins tend to enjoy rushing into gamble and game on the strength of their intuition. Every, everybody brings their own quote-unquote rigged dice. Understand, they're not rigged by, like, effort. They're, they're rigged by incompetence. But it's still, it's still rigging. It still counts. Uh, yeah, you are definitely capping this out. Spot, spot, just sit there and be tough. Okay, let's... Have a look at this town. So we have a bunch of dyers. Ooh, traders, hold on. What do you guys got? What's your deal? Take good care of that figurine. I see the bruises on you. I know you're a rowdy one. Don't break it, it's an antique. Oh, got clay centaur figurine. Well, that was nice of him. What is a clay centaur figurine? 345. Red-orange clay fashioned into a crude figure of a horse with the upper body of a hobgoblin. Made by a hoggles dairy goblin and passed off as a rare find. The elves created centaurs for show and novelty, not to make crafts. Really? The elves created a whole living creature for novelty's sake? That doesn't seem great. Oh, he's just going to keep giving us those. Well, I don't even really... Okay, that's fine. What's your deal, my dude? You really came through for me. I'm so excited for this sauce I could sob. Give us a, a what now? Musculunge jaw. 
flattened mandible with most of the needle sharp uh, most of the needle sharp teeth still intact. Muscalunge can be a nasty threat to swimmers, but a town will usually leave them to control the population of forage fish. Hey, 1818's not bad. We're definitely still using yeah, we're still using some gold rings. Um, do we wanna give Willow yeah, this seems fine. Would you also give me just an infinite number of the things? You totally would. I wonder if that's intentional. I mean, if this is a guy whose life we saved, I guess it's reasonable. Hey, you look like a traveling type, yeah? Look, I got this rare musky jaw I'm trying to offload, and it just so happens I also need some stuff you can't find too easy around these parts. That's rare. Usually whatever you want, Hoggles Dairy is where you... <clears throat> Usually whatever you want, Hoggles Dairy is where you find it. But look, a culinary people we are not, and plants don't keep so hot long term. I need a sprig each of basil, sage, and thyme. Can you help me out? Oh, I bet I can. Oh, I, I guess I can. I assume that he, um... I assume that he would have taken it from us if we had it. Do we really not have... Time? Uh, oh yeah, I guess. I guess we do not, in fact... Oh, sorry, I was scrolled down. We have tons of sage. No, sorry, we have some sage and some thyme. But actually, no basil. Well, okay. I'll keep you in mind, friend. So, like, this is an actual town. This is a functional town. Let's have a look at their map of the nearby area. What's your deal? Mint scented candle. Which is, wow, 045. Interesting. What is... Okay, that's the town horde. I mean, maybe they might give us stuff. This is... This is new. So this is Hogglesdairy, right? There's a line here through this campsite, but it doesn't look like there's a lot of... a lot of interest going on here. Alright, what's up with the town horde? Welcome to the Stuff Depository! Home of my stuff and yours! Care to make a deposit? A withdrawal? I mean, I don't really... Do you just want, like, a whole lot of stuff? I'll, I'll give you a ton of things. I'm gonna max out my rep. Hooray, we're familial! I just have so much garbage. My dude, you can have so much of my garbage. We have 225 rough round stones. Do you, do you want these? <laughs> I cannot, I cannot just hold down the mouse button. Uh, give multiple... Wait, how do I give multiple? There's no... There's no button bound next to that. Ah, okay, right click. Max. I am respected. It's wild that that was not enough to... Yeah, give them all these too. I want to be loved here. I want to be the hero of Hogglesdairy. It's the only thing I care about. Do you want 18 acorns? I have so many acorns, my friend. And then, uh, a lot of shiny baubles. I don't even like these. Honored? Wow. There's so much reputation to gain. Do you want some medallions? How about some smooth round stones? I did it. I'm revered. We, we maxed out. We are the most beloved. Ooh, citrines give plus move. So you get some... They have some, like, very basic, interesting stuff. I mean, again, we're sort of post-game, so that alters our needs a bit. And there's like a whole dying system we basically haven't engaged with, but also I sort of I'm just sort of used to the way my goblins look at this point. I I think we're just gonna leave them. It's fine. We're just gonna leave them. Okay, so we are Hoggles Dairy is in this little thing, so we need to turn around. We actually have a lot of distance to cover here. It's going to be fast travel, but it's it's a big distance. I'm a little surprised to see Hoggles Dairy's map didn't have anything more uh, more interesting marked on it. Well, we're getting another another great big smoke plume to the skies. There's another town this way. Maybe their map will have some uh, some more fascinating stuff going on. Maybe we'll find another giant skeleton or something. 
All right, so here's this here's this great big cluster of islands. Cloud cover is frustrating. There's something over there. There's some kind of yeah, some kind of weird structure looking thing. All right, let's make it to the town here, and then we'll we'll try to reckon our way to the class challenge from there. Okay, we have a very small bit of land separating us from the water on this side. Oh, well, that's not what I thought was going to happen at all when I did the slide. Oh, is this... Hold on. Am I, like, in a... No, okay, I was going to say, it sort of looks like we're just in a lake. There's kind of land everywhere, but that couldn't possibly be. There's nowhere over here that there's just a lake. It is actually really hard to... Really hard to tell what the terrain looks like, unless you're within about five feet of it. Okay, here we go. That's... That right there is the right landmass. So I think we're way on the outside now. Right, it's just open ocean to our left. Which, if I'm being honest, makes me a tiny bit uncomfortable. I don't appreciate the scale of the ocean. This water is too big. Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, hey, it's all of the people who live here. Let's uh, let's just bail out. I see another fey tree that we're going to have to undo. Let's can I take a look at their map first? Okay, this is interesting. So this will be Hoggle's Dairy. That's something we've not seen before on that little island. Actually, yeah, there's there's interesting stuff here. All right. Uh tell you what, let's Let's do the Fey Tree and then call it there for the day, I think. Two waves remain. Oh, geez, these are serious waves. Um, yeah, wow. This is very bad. So, let's have most of us be over here in this corner. Not exactly sure how we want to do this. And then we're gonna have we're gonna have Nyx jump over to here and this everybody's looking that way. We should be able to get some real good damage out of that. So Nyx should probably be all the way in the corner. Okay, let's try something like this. And what is the correct order here? They're gonna get to go with these two guys. And then I probably want Pascal to go pretty early on because there's a chance he's going to get hit by a big attack and we're going to need him to um, we're going to need him to be able to thirst in order to survive. I think I'm going to run it like this. So. A leap all the way out to here does damage to all of them and it's a fair amount and it'll start all their bushes on fire and stuff. And then, unfortunately, you're probably stuck over here. We're, we're going to have to jump again. Just because that's the only way we'll be able to move. Uh, okay, he did that in, like, a way that I find very annoying. I mean, I can just jump back up here. Thanks to my huge amount of movement, I can just jump back up here and punch him. Uh, and then I'm gonna get hit again. Alternatively, I could run over here and jump or something. I might I might do that. What's the range on jump for? Hmm. Okay, so if we move to here, then I can go one, two, three. Oh no, never mind. I cannot make it over to there. Alright. I'm just gonna stay on this side and hopefully not get murdered. And we'll just sting this guy right in the face. Okay, that's pretty ideal, actually.
That's a shame. Nettle's gonna end up one one space short of casting Frost right there, which is what we really need to do. Alright, well... We can still do this, which is pretty good. I'm trying to be mindful of both staying in reasonable reasonable position to actually fight the enemies, and also trying to make sure that I'm not going to get zapped. Get, trying to set myself up in a position where I can safely do a great big zap jump. Um, hmm. Anything that hits you is probably going to hit you hard enough. Yeah, but you're going real soon. I don't want you to do that. I would love it if you did not, in fact, take a turn. I probably set up our shaman facing the wrong way. Oh, it turns out it's not going to matter. We don't actually get to control our facing um, infinitely. You know, I do still have to care about what the enemies are going to do. Okay, he'll just poison out. That's fine. So... I mean, I want to drop a combust, right? Unfortunately, I cannot... Um, I can't get a height advantage. Alright, uh, let's thirst and then run. Okay, that guy opens up a uh, opens up a path for me to flee. And I'm gonna flee like to the far corner. I don't even know. Just get me out of here. Cause Pascal can get pretty much wherever he needs to get. Man, still two more waves. These are these are pretty brutal battles. Oh right, you have one level of uh, of unnerved protection. Can I bolt jump to here? Yeah. I love to jump. Try to separate a little bit because we have no idea what they're gonna do, honestly. Uh, self thrive should be fine. And like face this way. <laughs> There's, there's no way to kill. I can kill these two guys trivially, but not without doing some significant damage to one of my party members. Yeah, and there's no way to break his line of sight without without making the attack not affect the others. Uh, well, I guess I don't actually have to kill them both. You know what? It's not even a good idea to kill them both. I should combust you. And then um, leave the other guy to be thirsted. Right, this is the smart move, because we still need HP. There we go, that's better. Definitely gloat. And then I guess just kind of get central-ish? Also, just in general, destroying bushes. A good idea. Uh, you get over here. So I do wish that Nettle had, um, do wish that Nettle had some healing. I miss Nettle having healing. Let's imbue these bushes a little bit and then go stand in a different bush. Okay, all the way over there. 
Well, this is potentially really good for us. So I need to cast a frost like right here to delay the two that get to go early. And then now we have created a situation where most of them are looking the same direction and we're looking away. Yeah, so jump to right here hits everybody. If I move away first, we can get a little bit of extra damage, I think. Right? Is that how this works? Yeah, that seems okay. <laughs> You're on fire and at three health. It's looking pretty solid. I mean, you gotta imagine, Pascal's pretty thirsty. After all that retching he's always doing. It's, it's a lot of fluids that are constantly being expelled, so... <laughs> I kind of like where you are. Honestly, same for you. Uh, imbue some more vigor on these bushes. Unfortunately, there's not really a good way to. Um, it's not really a good way to determine the remaining duration of an effect that's on the ground. Wow, this wave is bad. It's very lucky for us that we. Um, that we, the uh, initiatives worked out the way they did, because holy shit, look at all of these fire stars. Yeah, it's very, very important that we were able to kill as many of those as we were that early on. Okay, can we kill all of the others? Yes. Actually, we're going to be totally fine here. Let's run up on these guys. We once again go for a great big thirst. Uh, and then it should be totally trivial for you to throw a grenade on the big, the one that still has health. And the other one could be killed with a, with a poison salvo. Oh wait, that's not quite lethal. Well, at least he's taunted. Yeah, this one gets a salvo. Man, elementalist. Once you have the buffs and stuff, once you, once you have your whole strategy kind of assembled, elementalist seems very powerful. All right, we got ourselves a silver circlet. That's fancy. And we saved yet another town. Two population in Stinkhorn. You're welcome, everybody. Do you have a cool mushroom hat on? You totally do. That rules. I want one of those very badly. All right, um, Nyx. What are we picking up next on Nyx? Geyser seems fun. Boyle um, also seems very good. Plus five power per water at target. Yeah, there are some times when this is going to be bananas. Removes water, creates difficult terrain. So it's like we create a drain. Incinerate does a bunch of fire damage in a big area with bonus damage for grass. Converts caster's health to power. Boy, I wonder... I wish that that was a little bit more verbose. Like, how much of it? And at what conversion rate? I think we're going to go for boil. Boil seems like it'll be really fun. It, it takes setup, but once you have it set up, it seems like it's going to be really great. And then you should pick up affinity, and we'll just grab... Um, I mean, actually, that's water affinity. What we'll do is we'll switch this for something else. Maybe, like, clear? Or, honestly, miasma's not a terrible idea. And then we can we can put frost in this slot because it's a water affinity slot. And then we need to um, we need to start focusing on having an actual heal. Nostrum seems like it's super great. 
And once we have that, Nettle will actually be a very powerful and effective Bog Witch. Okay, and I think that this is, um... Wow, what a cool town. Okay, I think this is where we gotta leave it for today. <laughs> the episodes are creeping up a little bit in length here and there. Uh, that is gonna be it for us for the moment. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, Monday, I think. I, I don't know what day's episode this is. When you come back next time, whenever next time is, uh, we'll pick up the last couple of classes and then see if the, uh, the world holds any other points of interest for us. And we'll see you then.